gentleman from Rhode Island, Mr. Magaziner, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support continued United States support for the people of Ukraine in their fight for freedom from Vladimir Putin's terrible invasion. In a despicable act of cruelty, Vladimir Putin invaded a peaceful and democratic nation. He is single-handedly responsible for unthinkable suffering. 70,000 Ukrainians killed, 13 million people forced from their homes, civilians shot in the streets, children separated from their parents, all to fuel the ego of a dictator in Moscow. And Putin's aggression is a threat to the security of the United States and our citizens as well. He has made no secret of the fact that his goal is to undermine the NATO alliance, which has kept our nation safe and like-minded democracies around the world safe for the past seven decades. And make no mistake, if Putin succeeds in his invasion of Ukraine, he will not stop there. Like all dictators, he sees democracy anywhere as a threat. He does not want his own people to know that nations with free elections and civil rights for their citizens can be strong. This is the Ukrainians' war to fight, and they are fighting it fighting for their families, fighting for their freedom with incredible bravery. The United States will not send troops to Ukraine, but they do need our help. I urge all of my colleagues to support the supplemental budget request for aid to Ukraine. Let's show the world that America stands with democracies, not with dictators, and reaffirm our commitment that we will stand with the people of Ukraine in their fight for freedom for as long as it takes.